say thank you very much for the introduction. Um, it's always great to be on the round the clock trading uh, webinar um, and listening to, to, to the other mentors. Uh, so this talk really is about how to identify and connect with the best mentors, educators, and, and pro traders. Uh, Simon kindly um, touched on uh, a little bit about what a little bit of what the app is about, um, the ability to trade, uh, the ability to chat um, about trading with other users and trade at the same time. Um, so I would just like to mention a couple of things. So f first of all, great to see so many Pelican mentors speaking today. Uh, and when I say Pelican mentors, I mean people who are, who are on the app or, or soon to be on the app. I, I can count amongst those Master Markets, Turi, Easy Trader, Charlie Burton, J John Piper, uh, the technical trader. Uh, and I note with John that, in fact, he was talking about Bitcoin today. We've literally just started trading Bitcoin. It is, it's now on, on Pelican. Uh, Thierry, who I just heard, he, he, he's, he's very much on, on Pelican, eyield.com. Ali Crooks, Trader Support Club, uh, and, and also Christian from Hertz. And, and they're all really... You know, as, as is always the case on uh, round the clock training, very respected mentors, and, and, and that's certainly what, what, what we're, we're aiming for. Um, I'd also like to quickly, before I go again, to mention that Brian Noble um, from Trader Noble uh, is coming to speak at our offices um, this evening. Um, starters at 6.30. Our post is on meetup.com if you look up Pelican Pints. Uh, it's a good opportunity to meet other traders face to face uh, and hear an excellent talk from Brian uh, about the markets. He, he's a very committed mentor and also uh, very shortly we're, we're starting a group on, on Pelican. Um, so how to identify and connect with the best mentors? I mean at Pelican we're, we're trying to connect the, the world of educators stroke mentors um, with those traders of, of various levels. Uh, who have something to, to learn from them, or, or, or we certainly think they do. Um, if I now scroll down, whoops, yeah, that's working. So that's not me, that's Mike Reed. He's co founder um, of uh, Pelican Trading, uh, one of the better looking Pelicans, as you can see. That's why I'm on the radio. And he's a qualified fund manager um, and corporate financier. <clears throat> now, so there's a little bit of background of how he started Pelican. So, so, Mike uh, worked at Evolution uh, Bank, which um, and, he, and he helped float as part of their corporate finance team, London Capital Group. Um, and London Capital Group were very much they're, they're another breaker. They were, they were very much pioneer in, in the trading community, enabling people to access the market very very cheaply. Uh, and that's how Mike really came to know about this whole kind of world of, if you like, do-it-yourself trading. <coughs> Apologies do-it-yourself trading, looking after your own money, um, giving people control over their finances. <coughs> Sorry. And so I think now I will go to the next slide. So yeah, I, I could say just a little bit at the back. So it's Mike Reed and Peter Reed are the co-founders. They both have backgrounds in finance. Peter himself uh, was um, an analyst um, for a bank, uh, equity analyst. Uh, my own background um, working with them is, it, is, is in private client stockbroking. So, so we all, none of us are traders, we're kind of all aspirational traders. Uh, so, so it really you know, it works very well, um, having a background knowledge but not, not pretending we're, we're, we're pro traders. So what, why do people trade the markets? Well, of course, the number one reason is to make money. I, I've never spoken to any trader who just does it for fun and loses money. We, we all want to uh, m make some money from it. Now, there are lots of different kind of traders and they have different aspirations. Um, we go pro traders, deriving their, their whole income from trading, um, of which there are a number on Pelican. It might be a, a second income. Uh, that could be school fees, second car, extension, nice holiday. Uh, we, we've all got lots of ways we, we can spend some extra money apart from our main job. Uh, also, sort of a third, type of um, trader that's on the site would be someone who's, a, who's hedging an existing portfolio. Now that would be a sort of more technical exercise, perhaps a more um, advanced investor, 
maybe a high net worth individual is less common, but, but that's certainly something that a leveraged product like CFDs and spread betting can be used for um, if, if you know what you're doing. Um, so I will just move to the next slide. There we go. So how, how do you learn to trade? We think you learn from an expert, and that's why we've got these mentors on, on Pelican Trading. Uh, and I think if you're listening to this, and, and, and thank you for giving, giving up a, a part of a beautiful summer's day to do that, um, I'd urge you to download the app if, if you haven't done so already. It's, very, it's free on the, on the um, App Store and Google Play uh, as a completely free app, um, and it will not um, co cost you a penny to download, and then at least you'll know what I'm talking about. So we, we say learn from an expert. If, if you're you know, embarking on um, another kind of activity, let's say, for example, playing tennis or learning how to play golf or learning how to drive a car, you'd really want to learn someone who learn from someone who's better than better than you at it. Um, if you first son daughter is learning how to drive, you know, we, we we wouldn't, I hope, trust it to trial and error. We wouldn't ask their friend to help them uh, or or any of these kind of things. Now also the the other options down there, um, apart from learning from that, so the EA, so the, these expert advisors. Um, is another thing. It's offered via MT4 accounts. Uh, enables you to plug in uh, and get trading signals. Um, well, a signal in itself is not enough. So we want people to learn how to trade, become traders themselves, to to do it on their own, not not just to not just to copy people. Although that is um, available on the app. Oh, went the wrong way. Here we go. So this whole mentoring world, which is something we've all of us at Pelican have really got into um, because, you know, it it, it is so important um, to our app and, and what we're trying to achieve with it. Um, it's a it's a strange old world. What's on offer? Well, absolutely welcome to the World West, uh, as it says. Um, you can go on courses, seminars, one-to-one um, -one tuition. Uh, you know, you know that all the people advertising a couple of hours and. A, you know, in a conference room in Heathrow, uh, that's free. It's all unregulated. So what where Pelican and brokers rightly have to be regulated by, by the Financial Conduct Authority, as we are, uh, or, a, or a, an alternative regulator in, in another country. Um, this world is not regulated. It really is a case of buyer beware. All unaudited. No, no central market to make comparisons. I say no, perhaps no central market until, until Pelican. So, the, 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 this is somewhere on the app where you, you, you have a variety of mentors and, and there could be an opportunity and will be an opportunity to compare their performance in the future. Some of these mentors are great, you know, we, we, very much the mentors we have on Pelican are, are accredited ones. Um, and we're tr we, we sort the wheat from the chaff. So any mentor on Pelican um, will have gone through that process with us. We will have checked their track record, which I'll talk about more. Um, unfortunately, some are some are awful, so you do have to be terribly careful. Um, some are focused on the upsell; uh, they're just salesmen; they're, they're, they're not traders. So if I just go to the next slide, so we, we we very much built Pelican to point people in the right right direction um, <clears throat> when it comes to a mentor, and not not making an expensive mistake. So checklist when considering a mentor. This is just this is a kind of ten point list that we devised. Uh, number one, price. How much are they charge you? If it's very high, that, that that's an immediate warning bell. You know, if we're talking tens of thousands of pounds, I'd, I'd strongly recommend looking the other way because really you can. There's no need to start start off with that kind of investment. And uh, we, you know, certainly myself and my own experience of trying to learn about finance, uh, I. I uh, the first book I read was uh, the, um, a book on how the city works, um, Penguin book on how the city works, which, which costs three pounds ninety-nine. That that that's probably the best starting point. What are they actually teaching you? You need to know what you're getting. You know, it's fine they say, you know, what is their strategy? What what, what extra are you going to learn? If, if if they can't be clear about what their strategy is, how are they going to teach you? Does the strategy fit in with your lifestyle? You know, 
in, in the modern world, we're, we've got a lot of time pressure on all of us, especially if one has children, certainly if you have a, a job, that, a full-time job that takes up a lot of your day. There's no point choosing a mentor who is going to insist you're glued to the screen all day watching a euro dollar if realistically you can only spend half an hour per day uh, in the morning uh, going through your, your investments and your trades. There are lots of mentors out there who realize that their main customer base uh, are full-time employees and they, um, they tailor their offering uh, to suit their needs. And certainly with Pelican, when, when you've got your mentor on the app, that, that obviously gives you an immediate opportunity to access them uh, when you're out and about, and even when, when the mentor's out and about, he can post, he can check his trades that, that, that are live on Pelican. Who is teaching you? What, what is their background? So I, I told you a bit about the background of the individuals at, at, at Pelican, and, and certainly we, you know, we're, we're a startup uh, company, so in the second phase, really, of funding. Uh, our, our investors, they, they, they look at us and they, they expect us to have a good background. If you're choosing a men mentor, you want to check very carefully the provenance of the mentor. Is he a good trader? They'll all tell you they are, but you've got to see some evidence that he's a good trader. If he's a good trader, great. Is he also a good teacher? Because we all know very, very talented, bright traders or people in all kinds of professions who are brilliant at what they do, but they couldn't, uh, couldn't teach um, to save their lives. It's not their, not their thing. And it's the same thing. Are they accountable? Can you, can you see them trade? Uh, on Pelican, you can see the trades live. A lot of mentors, they also do live trading days. Uh, some of this is on Skype and so on. But um, the, the great thing about Pelican is it's under our, our, our FCA uh, umbrella, and, and they're fully regulated. It's something I'll, I'll come back to later. So what is, what is the end product? What, what are they promising? You know, uh, just, again, a bit... Bit, bit like the um, the earlier question, what are they promising? Are, are they independently endorsed? Can they can they demonstrate form? You know, a, a personal recommendation from someone you trust um, could be adequate. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the, the accreditation system we have on on Pelican to ensure that these individuals um, who are all very committed uh, and and you can trust them and you know you're getting a, a fair deal financially. Um, as well as somebody who's got who's got a proven record um, in this space. Look out for the upsell again. Some some courses are just marketing engines. They're they're just wanting you to get up to that next level. Um, they'll get you in a free seminar. They'll say right um, discount thousand pounds for the three day, uh, and before you know it, they're they're, they're talking massive money. Um, if that's the case, I'd, I'd again, I'd going to be very wary. Um, before your course is selling false promises, fast cars, etc. So you've just got to look on Instagram, look up trading on Instagram, and you'll see it all there, amazing, really gold chains, Ferraris, um, spurious evidence of, of winning trades, how people made four hundred pounds in, in half an hour, you know, thanks Dave, thanks Johnny. Uh, cheers, you know, it won't be a moment before you've got a Ferrari. It's not gonna happen like that. Um, you know, trading it's very difficult to master, as everyone knows. That's why you need a mentor. Uh, anyone who says you won't have failures along the way uh, is trying to kid you. Uh, everyone will have setbacks, and it's about bouncing back from those and, and getting a strategy that's uh, long-term long profitable. Avoid hero trades and hero traders. The flash in the pan Instagram lot um, is not going to provide a reliable income of any kind. Right, so on the, on the same kind of topic, so uh, I went along, um, it's a bit cheeky, I went along to one of these courses um, of somebody who's not obviously on, on the app, um, who was one of these kind of very much these marketing engines. Uh, and as you can see, you know, sort of 50,000 as well, so two, two, three years school fees, um, what have you got there, 34,500, probably, you know, so that decent second-hand Porsche box door, you know, whatever car you like. You know. uh, 19,000, little extension, a conservatory maybe. But all those things I've mentioned, they have some kind of warranty or guarantee with them. None of this has any of that. It's totally unregulated. You, you, you don't have any comeback. So just, just be very wary about this. Um, by throwing a very big number at you like this, um, at, at potential students, 
it, it makes them think they're getting something really quite amazing. Now, I'm not, you know, that may be the case, maybe it is amazing. In my experience, people who just chuck massive numbers usually like this are sort of waltzy messy cats. They're just trying to make a, make a quick buck, and, uh, and uh, I'd say none of those are on, are on Pelican. Right, let's go to the next slide. Checklist when, when considering a, a mentor. And I'll just find, try and find the right page. Here we are. Say, this is something, um, checklist when considering a mentor. Number one, price. Warning bell if it's too high. Now, I think, I think I've already gone through this. Hold on a minute. Yeah, I have. Yeah, important question. Apologies. Uh, if they're so good at trading, why are they mentors? Uh, this is something, the first question that, that you should rightly ask. Um, very fair question. I think for, from my experience, and I speak to lots of really great mentors, some of them like an audience. You know, they like to, to talk and, and they really enjoy it. Um, I mean, uh, some of the guys you, you, you've, you've heard today, that, that you know, they can really talk um, about it and, and, and it's clear their enthusiasm shines through. You know, I mean, let's be honest about this. A lot of most traders' performance can be bumpy. Uh, I've never met a, a good mentor who hasn't said, well, listen, I do have one or two months down a year. So if I have a bad run, I can have four months where I lose money. But I, I'm confident in my strategy and I, that I can make that up in the other seven, eight months of the year. Um, so if, as I say, you know, the, the, the monthly subscription that, that, that they often charge these guys, which can be as low as 50 pounds, going right up to 500, you know, depending on the service, but that what, what you're getting for that is, um, you know, a, a mentor who's, who, who's committed um, and whose performance is proven. So, I mean, interestingly, the, the best trader we've ever seen on, on our platform, who is a, who's an ex-bond trader uh, from Deutsche Bank, you know, took some pretty big positions, you know, on Pelican. Um, you know, he said, well, listen, you know, what, you know, he was a winning trader, he was made, making quite a bit of money. He said, listen, become a mentor, you know, um, sell your, your trades, discuss your trades, teach other people how to trade. No, no interest at all. Um, it's just not, um, not for everyone. And as we're coming back to the point where Good trader, good teacher, can be two different things. If you get them together, uh, then, then you're away. Um, right, so I will just find it. It's not just about performance. So other valuable lessons that, that, that can be learned um, from mentors. Um, you know, if you, if you can gain the following skills at the end of your course, um, you know, it's worthwhile. It's not just about suddenly expecting to make some money, although of course that, that, that would be lovely as well. Um, risk management, the, the top one, it, absolutely vital. All, all good um, educators will, will talk about risk management, whether that's 1% of your portfolio, 3% of your portfolio, whatever it is, different, different levels comparing what kind of trading you're doing. If you're, you know, if you're a longer term trend trader, it's going to be very different from it if you're an intraday forex trader. Uh, trade behavior. So really just about how vital it is to be disciplined um, and stick to your system. Um, it's so easy to be tempted to deviate from your strategy. Uh, and I don't know, certainly from personal experience, we've all been there. You know, you'll, you'll say, right, I'm just going to concentrate on, on the FTSE 100 um, and cable, and I'm going to specialize in those things. That sounds great. Then suddenly a friend tells you, hang on a minute, you know, gold, silver, Bitcoin, looking great at the moment. You know, really got to get in. And then you have a look at it, and you say, well, you know, bigger bet than normal on, on this, something you don't really know about. It's a bad sign. I think you, know, you want to stick to what you know uh, in, in, in the experience I've had and, and what I've heard from, from mentors. So mar market focus, and again, the same thing, so keep focusing on a, a small group or, or even a handful of, of markets um, proven to give you a better chance of success. Some traders, one market. FTSE 100 only buys even, you know, I mean, you can get incredible specialisms. More realistically, probably a basket of six to eight instruments. Um, you know, I think you probably want one, more than one market because that, you know, if one goes dead, then might be some more volatility in something else. After sales service, so that can be quite a flag. Um, if you have no after sales service from a mentor, a kind of attitude of, you know, 
got got your few thousand. See you later. Um, you it, again, you don't want that. Um, and one of the one of the kind of reasons we, we we started Pelican is to give give the good mentors and, and advisors and educators the advantage of being able to offer this um, after sales service in in an environment um, that, that that's fully regulated um, and with the, with the paywall to give teams and stuff. Uh, and it's all about community, power in the crowd. Lots of these mentors, they have they have events. Um, they get people buzzing, talking to each other. It's it's all great. It is all great for your trading, and uh, that will shine through in your performance in the end. Right, let's go to the next slide. Um, so we'll go straight to the next slide. So here's the app. Rather boring screen that one. Um, it's what we're trying to be, best in class trading platform. Um, you know, there are many brokers offering similar execution to us. We're not trying to beat them. We want to be as good, if not better. But we, you know, we're not trying to compete uh, on, on solely that level. It's really about what differentiates Pelican. On the right, there, connect with other traders. That that's really the main thing about our offering. So the ability to set up public groups or private groups. So the mentors, they tend to set up a public group where they're in charge of it. Um, and followers can watch their trading, watch, watch, interact with them, watch their trades go up live. Again, finding the right mentor, we've been through that. Uh, become a regulated mentor. So this is pretty important. So when, you're on, when they're on our, our site, that with the type of FCA regulation we have, which I'll go through later, they're fully regulated to give advice to students, which they would not be on the likes of Twitter, WhatsApp. And obviously, that's something that we were able to sell to the mentors. Private trading rooms, you, you can set up a private group with, with your friends or fellow traders, and um, that's a really useful resource. Rather than simply just doing a WhatsApp group, hey, look at the FTSE, you've got access to all the markets. You can put your trades up there. Um, it, it brings a whole new dimension. Um, to, to interacting, and it, and it really, it kind of, you know, it's been said before that Pelican's a little bit like a Bloomberg light, um, where, you know, you can um, get the same advantage of the, as the professionals, where they talk, talk traders between each other in, in banks. Um, you, you get this on Pelican as well. Um, the only FCA regulated social platform. Um, so it's really about the way we use our regulation. I mean, there are there are other regulated social platforms that are slightly confusing, um, but we do we use our regulation in a unique way. Um, basically, everyone's RDR compliant um, to be an investment manager. Um, this means that retail trades traders can view and share their trades with each other. Um, why you don't see similar offerings from other brokers? is that they're, they're, they're not regulated to do this. Um, our competitors in this space are doing it in a different way. We're, we're the only people um, doing it like this. So now I will move to page 12. Again, there we go. Why is Pelican, Pelican relevant to finding a, a mentor? Um, well, kind of almost by accident, we, 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 we've become the marketplace, really, for mentors, um, which is really exciting. Uh, Pelican wasn't started out to be a sort of facility for mentors. It's something that happened as we learn more about the industry. Um, and I'll give you an example on the next page of, of some of the some of the mentors who are up there and running. Many of these names you'll you'll recognise. Some of you won't. So ones I haven't mentioned before would include um, Six Financial, who are interesting if you look there. Uh, they're German algorithmic traders, very successful. Um, I'd recommend that's one of your first portal calls on the app to see how it works, to see their trades, um, to ask any questions. Um, Carol Chama, who's done done the R, the, the R, um, the round o'clock trading webinar before, she's also there. Um, and you know, we're, we're we're attracting the best mentors who are willing to show their trades live, and and it's such a bonus if somebody, you know, like for instance Charlie Burton earlier, it's fifty. 50 to 500k challenge, you know that that gives you that sense of security when when you've got somebody who's willing to show their metal in a live trading environment. So that's great. We'll move now. 
page. So this is an example, uh, Karim Yusfi. He, he was one of the first mentors on the app. Um, good friend of the, of the Pelican team here and, and very experienced uh, mentor and trader. Uh, he runs a, a sort of um, proprietary trading fund, really, Audacity Capital. Um, knows everyone in the industry, great man. Um, and so he's got a couple of um, groups on Pelican, and I think the next slide should show these. Yeah, so he's got two public groups, Audacity uh, Capital Commodity and Audacity Capital Forex. Uh, I'd say the Forex is, is the more active one. Um, and you can see there, this is the first site. If you haven't downloaded it already, please do. But if you haven't, you, you can see a list of, of, of groups there on the right. It's just a case of tapping into the one you want to go into. Uh, it's really very intuitive. Um, when you are in the group, you get the opportunity to just tap to copy or tap to even inverse the trade if that's what something, something you want to do. Presumably, if you're following a mentor who's an expert, you'd think twice before, before going the other way on a trade to them. Um, but what's great about this is it, is it allows Karim to, to, to be answerable to his followers. They can see what he's doing. They can see, they can discuss the reasons why he's trading. Um, it's not a case of looking at the markets retrospectively um, with the benefit of hindsight. Uh, with the benefit of hindsight, we're all highly profitable. You know, it's like what, you know, looking at yeah, yesterday's racing, uh, horse racing results and saying, oh, yeah, I know about that one. Well, well, the chances are you probably win. We've got to um, get a strategy that, that's proven for future performance. The next one. So this is an example of his Forex trading group. Um, says here, using smaller stakes to ensure accessibility. So you know, not many of the mentors trade in huge size. Um, often one or two pounds a point. It, it sort of acts more as a necessarily um, trading in enormous size. When you do copy a trade, you do, of course, have the option to edit the, the, the amount per pip or point you're, you're, you're betting. You know, if someone does a hundred quid a trade, you're not suddenly going to be pushed into that trade. Um, daily signals and, and idea discussions, as discussed, you can see there that, um, you know, just like WhatsApp, it's a great facility, it's a great wall to chat on. Trading profitably. So, you know, he's been, um, he's been on there a few months now and um, he's got some great performance stats, Karim, uh, and it means that his, that his followers benefit from that. Um, we've all copied his trades, we've all made a little bit of money out of it. So that leaderboard's a bit out of date. I remember in the last webinar someone mentioned that, that, that the stake sizes are quite small. And the answer is in that, in this case they are, but you can imagine if that, that's a one pound a, a pit, it, it, you, can, you can change the figure to 10, 20 pounds a pit um, if, you, if you see them trading profitably and want, want to, um, uh, and you've got the bankroll to uh, justify that. So only, only the trades placed within the group contribute. Um, that's important, so you're not suddenly going to get outlying trades joining in there. And I would mention that, I mean, that's an absolute return table uh, on the right there of performance. So in our next stage of development, we're going to make it much more sophisticated, the performance you can see of the mentors and the traders. Because at the moment, to be perfectly blunt, it, it is not good enough. So if somebody made, for example, a 200 pound a pip trade and made one pip, they would simply come up there at 200 pounds. What we want is a performance table that's proportionate and also with a timeline. And, and that'll be coming in in the next couple of months. What else can you do on Pelican? Let's just get to the right slide. What else can you do on Pelican? Trade the market. So, Intertrade are the underlying brokers. Um, they're based in Gibraltar. Uh, they're also fully regulated. Um, there are slightly different rules in Gibraltar in terms of depositing money and, and, and the protection on that. So I think they're protected up to £20,000. Though, in fact, um, they up that protection um, being part of a very large um, gaming conglomerate called, I think it's GBA Holdings. Uh, and they protect your funds, in fact, up, up to a million. They're, they're underwritten. 
over 1,500 markets, just like IG Index and, and the other big, big spread betting companies. Great spreads, so we aim to be really competitive and, and an trader, we push them to be competitive or, or, on all their spreads, um, and as a result, they have a great following. Trades can be kept private or made public, so there's no, often people think everything they do on Pelican is gonna be published, that's simply not the case. You can, you can keep your trades private. Um, it's easy to see how to do that. You don't have to publish your, your trades. Um, it, it's just an option for one. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. Just to let you know that James is on, he's just joined the webinar. I know you were going to be asking James Bathurst. Fantastic. Some, some questions. So he's, he's joined by phone, so I don't know how you That's want to. Great. How are, we, um, how are we going for time? I haven't got too much my watch on me. We have about 15, 20 minutes or so, so. Right, that's perfect. I mean, I think I'll, what I'll do in that case, um, I'm glad James has got here because I know he, um, he was having some trouble with his computer earlier, so uh, it's great to see him. Uh, James Bathurst is a, is a client of ours at, at Pelican, um, and I'm going to ask him just a few questions just to give you an idea on the ground of what it's like coming to Pelican from, from say, another broker. So if it's okay, Simon, I'll just whip through these remaining slides most of which I seem to remember I've kind of already covered, and Absolutely. then go straight to James. Okay, great, thanks. Brilliant, so trade the markets, we've done that one, we'll get through these one quickly, we're going the wrong way. Create your own trading profile. Uh, yeah, we're not got any hidden agenda. Uh, profiles formatted to optimize information um, will add metrics according to demand. So that's again more about the stats we want to offer on for people who do want to publicize their trading results. This gives an absolutely foolproof way of, of recording what, what they've been up to uh, trading. It's not like just seeing, a, uh, seeing something being posted on, on Twitter or elsewhere. Uh, interact with traders, really the kind of the nub of the whole thing with Pelican as it's been public, private groups. Uh, we'll move really quickly through this. Again, interact with live trades, copy, inverse. This is just images of it. So what I really recommend is, is having seen all this, um, that you really download Pelican, um, the trading app, and familiarize yourself with a demo account. Uh, of course, you know, we're a broker, we, we want to have live accounts, but we, we don't push people to do that. It's, we want them to come to it naturally by seeing some great traders. Um, but I, I'm grateful that I can introduce um, to you a live account holder and one of the founding um, users of Pelican, James Bathurst. Um, are, are you there, James? Simon, have you plugged him in? Great, you can Hello. hear me now? Oh, James, welcome. Thank you uh, very much for joining us. Peter, hi, good afternoon. Hi there, afternoon. So, what I, I, I know that you've been using the app for some time, and uh, you know, certainly when we reskinned the app uh, earlier um, in January, um, you were one of the first uh, on boarders for it. So, uh, so, I mean, how long have you been trading? Um, the markets, roughly, would you say? Sure. So um, <clears throat> I think, like like most of us, my my journey's been you know an up and down one. In and it probably started about seven years ago. Um, I did right. five months <clears throat> in a what they call a prop shop, um, right. which was yeah. a very invaluable experience. Um, mm, like that, yeah. Trading a sort of about a ten grand margin account and um, just trying not to to get um, burned and and learning uh, yeah. three. Particular indexes um, that we and, and did out of interest this this prop shop did it uh, did they give you much of an education before they presumably they did before they cut you loose on an account? Well, they they said they would, but um, I think as quite often as the case, they they didn't probably provide as much as they could have done. Goodness. But I mean, yeah. my 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 principal experience was that um, you know, knowing when to get out rather than how to get in was the key benefit of that yeah. experience. Interesting, yeah. So, so when, you know, obviously after this experience, and then that's kind of, it sounds like a baptism of fire to me, to being right in there in a prop house, which is something that a, that a lot of private retail traders will never experience. Did, did you then seek any help from a mentor after that, or, or are you completely self-taught post your, uh, your prop house no, trading? No, my, my, um, my takeaway from that is that all successful traders seem to have a very open um, character in that they, they consult and they're very, very self-analytic, so they will tend to look to others to mm -hmm. assess their performance, like all great athletes, 
Uh, I think the moment right. you start to hide and you don't have poor business records, etc., you're yeah. probably on on your way, you know, to to, to the door. You, you've got to be very, very, very realistic. Yeah. So, so you'd say it's a kind of maybe a wisdom of the crowd t type scenario where where you're feeding off each other and 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 kind of improving performance that way? You've got to be consultative, if nothing else. I mean, you might not have to bear everything. I mean, clearly there will be individuals who have a, you know, I, I don't know whether they're necessarily trading. I mean, they might be actually just like investing, and it's a longer term. Yes. And they may not obviously want to share that information, but I think most shorter term traders, you know, they, they, there's a lot of pressure, and it's good for them to have the outlet of talking to other people. It's not easy. Yeah, I, I think that's right, and when we come to talk about Pelican, I, I think that will shine through. So, um, what, I mean, Adam, eventually you may want to discuss it yourself. I hope you do, but you're, you're kind of your currently your, your primary trading strategy, or or certainly the instruments you trade. Anyway, what, what would that be at the moment, James? Well, I still, again, for my takeaway from my prop shop days, I tend to, in in futures terms, just sort of trade around the bund, um, right. a little bit the U.S. twenty year, um, as in. Yeah. <clears throat> And occasionally, I will dabble in um, the DAX, but it, it's right. quite fast moving, and my tolerance right. for sort of more than 20 pip move is not great. So I, I don't, I, right. you know, and I think that quite a lot of the more, a where well, they're liquid, but at the same time they're very volatile contracts, can move you right. around a lot. So you've got to be pretty, you've got to have pretty good nerves. So would in. that be with fairly fairly tight stops on on those um, instruments you talked about, the buns? I actually I do use mental stops, but I don't put a stop right. in because um, you know oh. I I think you've got to be you've got to be on the trade whilst you're in it, and, and it's better to get out. And if you've got an effective counterparty, you know your slippage shouldn't be too bad. Obviously, right. you can get a very bad day, and, and that, that goes without saying. Yeah, exactly. I mean, occasionally we find people who who, you, who don't use stops, or like say use mental stops, uh, and you, you like to get slippage anyway. But people might they might do nine really good trades, and then I'll have one that just knocks out that 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 previous good work. Is that something you find, or do you mitigate against that? Well, I think that the reality is that um, you the market conditions can can change very rapidly, and clearly you 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 want to be aware to that, and, and then move out of that market. You can't just sort of have a a linear approach and and, and hope. So um, ultimately. If you're putting in the sell and or the buy to close order, that that should yeah. um, take take you out of the position that you you had pre envisaged. You know, I, I will set right. the stop yeah. before I go into yeah. a trade. I just don't right. want to allow the, the broker to be able to see that I have it there because I think you'll probably hit it. Right. Me. <laughs> you I know, don't it's trust not. your broker. Goodness me, this, this is bad news. I hope this isn't the case <laughs> with um, Pelican as they were taking. I, I trust my broker, but you know, you don't want to yeah. show your card. You know, it's it's. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No. I see what you mean. It, it, it's um. You know, that, that, that's a. You know, clearly a street fighter in the trading world. You, you you know your stuff. So, thank you for that. And 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 how do you? I mean, how do you? I mean, I know you 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 also have a have a job, uh, quite a full on job. So how, how do you fit that around that and having children and a family life with, with, with your trading? Does it mean you trade less? You don't trade trade every day. How does it work for you? I, I mean, I think that if you, it'd be hard to have a full-time job, at least from my perspective, and trade, for instance, cable during the day, uh, especially with what's going on politically here. Uh, you, yeah. you would want to maybe migrate to contracts that are uh, slightly more defensive. I mean, because ultimately, if you have a system, it, you can apply it across mm. many contracts as long as there's sufficient volume. Mm. How, however, I think you, you know, to answer your question, I would therefore tend to stick to. The less volatile contracts, because I know that I can control it, and my losses most probably are going to be less than they would yeah. be if I was, you know, a cable cable could move 20, 30, 40, you know, pips rate quickly at the moment. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, no, it sounds it sounds very very sensible and um, uh, good to hear. So before before you used it, just going on back to Pelican now, you know, before you used Pelican trading as a user, did you interact much with other traders apart from this prop house experience? I think that for me, the real advantage of Pelican has been that. You, you don't obviously there's at no cost to yourself the ability to see what other very good traders are doing and yeah. and uh, you know interact with people um, all the time and, and obviously benefit from the, the benefit of their experience and you know the way they see the world and introduce you maybe to contracts you haven't traded before and the rhythms right. involved in those all of which many <clears throat> ten five ten years ago gurus would have charged you money 
to do yeah. and, uh, and no particular profit to yourself. So no, it's, it's a sort of cost-free um, way of being exposed so, so to very, very uh, disciplined traders. It's great. Uh, that's excellent. And, and do you think it's, it's kind of enlightened you in any way uh, into the way different pro traders uh, trade and behave in different strategies that you might not have considered before? Or has it kind of reaffirmed your own strategy and made you think, well, hang on, I'm actually, I'm doing pretty well. Well, I think I noticed that, you know, you can look throughout the site and see that there will be, you know, some of the more, the, obviously the very advanced traders, they do seem to share mm. certain characteristics, you know, and, yes. and, and I mean, for instance, you know, to quote sort of Kareem, who we met the other day, yeah. you know, he, yeah. he, he was advocating that the movements in individual contracts and, and, and stock placements, mm. um, you know, have to be considered at all times. And I think a lot of novice traders can get lured into the markets into very dangerous contracts, and um, yeah. you know, obviously, you, the, the last thing you really want is anyone to to, to lose, and certainly not to lose regularly. Um, you know, mm. you've got to kind of like tiptoe in and just get used to the rhythm of each contract. Uh, and when you, you say danger, dangerous contracts, yeah, sorry, yeah, when you say dangerous, potentially dangerous contracts, particularly volatile instruments or sort of yeah. exotic currencies and this type of thing that might have a larger cost to trading with a spread and, as well as more volatility? Absolutely. I mean, you know, things that sound exotic and exciting, like the Hungarian forints, you know, is not something yeah. you want to be in if you're a, a young yeah. novice trader. Mm -hmm. start, and, and that's interesting, start. yeah. I, I think that sounds like really wise advice. And, 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 and would, uh, where would you point a novice trader? I mean, obviously, you're, you, you, you've got a great deal of experience in the trading world. If somebody's coming to Pelican completely fresh, uh, have, have you seen any groups on there that, that might be a good one to start off with? Um, I was thinking. Yeah, I have. Um, I, I would. Um, I, I would have to kind of go back in my memory. I mean, I think there are three or four. I mean, particularly um, the, the group. There's a group in Germany who I find interesting. Kareem's group, yeah. the commodities group, are very interesting. Yes. Um, Zahir, um, I've looked at. I mean, all of them have. You know, different perspectives, and all of them are massively useful. And yeah. you don't you don't need to act necessarily on what they're doing, but it, it just informs you of the market temperature conditions. Mm. And then you have to adapt your own style to your own personality. You know, it's everyone's so different. Everyone's tolerance is so different, mm. and um, you need to work oneself out. And yeah, I mean that that's very interesting advice. And and, and how I mean, obviously, I know I know. So you talked about Zahir and Wari. Who I, I, I'm sure has spoken on, on round the clock before. He he's got an excellent excellent group up there. Uh, the Germans you mentioned, uh, Six Financial, the algorithmic traders. They're they're fascinating uh, watching them trade, and and they've had such, such an extreme amount of success. I, I can't urge anyone enough uh, to, to visit the app, get onto Six Financial, and just watch their trading and join in because really it's something that's going on for free. Uh, I think it's probably the best thing that's going on in this industry at the moment. Uh, yeah. there, are lots of other, there are lots of other great mentors, of course, but they will soon be, um, you know, charging modest fees on, on the app to view their content, which all of which is, is worth paying. I mean, I mean, out of interest, James, have you, have you ever paid a, paid a mentor? I know, did you have a um, the, that, that gentleman Guy Cohen? Um, did you, did you the follow guy, him? The, the guy I've followed, and I think he's a very wise head. I mean, obviously, he's a um, an equity options specialist. Who has an academic yes. background, but he has a very, I mean, it's, it, I wouldn't say there's anyone in the world who has a predictive strategy, but he does seem to have a particular um, knack of, of calling the conditions um, of the market. Yeah. And, and no, that's think, fascinating. You know, um, I have, uh, I mean, probably the most inspirational person in trading I've ever come across in the US was um, Mark Fisher, who runs um, MBF, which is the biggest clearinghouse in the US for sort of oil and that gas. Right. He, he's yeah. really incredible. I mean, he, he's the real deal in the sense of obviously being a kind of hardened, old-school trader. Um, yeah. I think it's important to see these people who've really been in the coal face. Yeah, I mean, lots of I'm, I'm, though, though certainly Guy, we, we, we're, we're in talks with him about getting him, him onto Pelican. He's going to be a really, um, uh, really vital um, resource for people. And, um, but I'm glad to say that so many of the mentors on Pelican have a great deal uh, of experience, life experience uh, that they bring to the table. I'm talking about, I mean, really, all of them: John Piper, Brian Noble, um, Easy Trader, Master Markets. They've all been operating Cal Chum for um, 
minimum 15 years, these guys. They, they really know what they're talking about, and, and some of them many more than that. Uh, and it's yeah. just so important, um, uh, like you say, to, to, to follow someone who's got that experience, who's, who's, who's going to be able to... Yeah, you can, you know, my, my, my personal take from it is just to distill a little bit from all of them, and you, know, you have a read-through, even if it's just 20, 30 minutes a day. And uh, you know they, they they have such combined wisdom, and mm. it is a good guide. I mean, I, I, as an example, my I had a, a one-off example where I took a, mm. a trade that I've never done before within Aussie dollar, US dollar, which is a mm. market I don't understand, and the movements of it are quite rapid. And that 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 would be an example, even for someone who's got some experience, you can very quickly get yourself into quite deep water. And although I know there are guys who trade that, I was really interested to watch the kind of position sizing that they use. So obviously, you know, the more rapid the market, you probably want to reduce your position sizing. Yeah. You can be a bit more bold in things that you understand. And that, that yeah. was a big takeaway from looking at some of the groups who, who were trading that. Um, well, you know, I think, James, uh, you're a great example of, of, of the, the approach you should have towards mentors and recognizing that, you know, even someone like yourself who's operated in a professional trading environment has plenty to learn from others and I think we've probably not touched enough on you know what a solitary experience trading can be um, you know James is somebody who's got out there met people made sure he's improved his trading I think a lot of people sadly who, who probably aren't have had a very bad experience of trading have not had the confidence or, or the facility to go out and do that um, and I'd urge those guys to, to come to Pelican and uh, and you know, and chat to us, chat to the other traders, and um, really get the benefit from it. Um, okay, sorry, James, just hold on a second. Totally second that. Yeah, uh, great. Um, so, Simon, I, I, how are we doing for time? Sorry. Jim, uh, James, um, Peter, we're we're doing fine. We've got another five minutes or so. Uh, it's very interesting okay. listening to the conversation. I hope everybody else is enjoying it. It is quite illuminating, actually, to to, to hear James's experience and, and very interesting thoughts. So great input. Thank you um, for that. I'll give you another five minutes and then we'll, we'll maybe need to start to wrap up. Is that okay? Right. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, so, so, so thanks, I'm sorry. I'll remember to uh, bring, along my, um, bring along my watch next time. I, I, I'm one of these people who uses an iPhone and um, if it's not with me, I, I haven't got a clue what the time is. So there we are. Um, but, but, James, I, I'm now going to ask a slightly strange question, if it's okay. Are the, are, as I'm here to, um, uh, we're not going to talk about golf like we normally do. Uh, are the, I know I'm here to market Pelican, but are, are there any disadvantages of using Pelican? And it's actually that, that you can think of that, that, that we can improve on feedback. So. No, I think that I mean, Pelican's massive selling point is the community. And, uh, and then there are many other sites that have a small community, but they don't really bring together um, <clears throat> such open and um, experienced people, and I think that that is a great selling point. And it's, it's certainly unique. So, for you know, a, a, as you mentioned, a novice coming into mm. the market, a lot of bad stories. There are a lot of there are a lot of con men out there and women, you know, who who are looking to basically use um, people who are inexperienced in a bad way. Because you know, I think when you when you start in trading, yeah. you need to set yourself a twenty year goal. You need to be in the market yeah. for that period of time. And yeah. gradually get in, you know, increase your knowledge. That yeah, I mean, out of interest, be with you for that journey, the whole yeah, way. Yeah, and, I, mean, uh, I mean, out of interest, how long? I mean, this could be different for different people, but I, I often, you know, I'm always really interested when people talk about how long it takes them to get that. You know, when, when they can kind of trust themselves with a, uh, with a, with, with an operational um, account size. Uh, that's going to make them some money. Um, you know, how long is that process to just simply to learn how to trade? Do you think? Well, from from what I've listened to from certainly some of the, the better U.S.-based traders, they, you know, as with a, any gambling system, I, I think that if you overexpose yourself, that would mean probably more than three percent of your existing capital mm. in mm. absolute risk terms in a position. Mathematically, over time, you're probably going to face some risk of, uh, of bankruptcy over time, and therefore, yeah. you know, if you've got a hundred grand, you know, you're deploying two percent of that in absolute terms to a position at any one time. I mean, that, that would be the maximum loss you know you could probably take. Now, I think that's a really good guide. I mean, two to three percent of your capital at most, and that, that you've therefore got to understand the margin and the acceleration, and also stop.
within your position because a lot of people will try and brush that under the carpet. And I think you've got to be rigorously disciplined about um, mm. taking yeah, it. And I it's really that. like a boxing match, you know, just little jabs all the time. Um, and it's a mathematical um, sort of certainty um, that over time, you know, if you deploy the right um, setup skills, you know, you will probably win over time. Yeah, no, no, that, that, that's fascinating. I mean, obviously the market's a massive beast and, and to take it on um, without, uh, as I talked about earlier, carrying out uh, proper risk management, which is what you've been talking about. Um, you know, it's interesting that you've picked up, you know, quickly from the, from the mentors and over, over your trading career, uh, you know, a, a strategy of 2 3%. I mean, you know, which sounds very, very sensible. And I mean, I think to operate like that, you've probably got to have a reasonable account size, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think if you've got, I mean, obviously, you know, it's not, um, not, not, because people often things, say, there are people out there with three or four thousand dollars, and of course, you can still trade. But you'd still mm. want to effectively you know, look for a an instrument that you know is mm. rewarding. That's not going yes. to kind of because if, if if it's moving ten or twelve ticks, you know, for instance, on yeah. our platform, and you know you've got you know about let's say three pounds a point at play, you know, then thirty six yeah. pounds loss, maximum loss before you get out. You've got yeah. to work out what, what percentage that is of your absolute capital that you can afford mm. to lose. And, and all of these things you've got to pre-know, not, not know post-fact, and you can't start you know, working it out after the game. It's before the game. And it gives you yeah. the confidence, therefore, to act. Yeah, no, it's very interesting. And, um, I mean, f finally, I mean, I, I, I think, you know, some people listening, you know, might want to ask you further questions. I mean, w which group do you kind of hang out on uh, in the app um, where, where, where people... Well, I've been quite a lot, I mean, obviously, I know um, Kareem, so I've, I've spent some yep. time observing his group every day. I know they're here, so I tend to sort of just read through what they're doing as well. Um, and obviously, as, as we mentioned, um, our, our German friends. Um, yeah, well, that's, well if it's okay, yeah, I mean, if it's okay, James, I'll, I'll suggest that if you don't mind setting up a, a public group, j just so people can, anyone who wants to, can ask you more questions about your trading history, as it, as it is fascinating. Um, I think that would be a great facility. Just check back every day and uh, see what's happened. Sure. Yeah, that'd be fine, Pete. No problem at all. Um, and certainly, I, I can't thank you enough for uh, contributing to this webinar. And um, you know, it's been been, uh, been very interesting and, uh, and and worthwhile. I can't thank you enough for giving up giving up your time. Um, thank you, James. No problem. Thank you, Peter. And good luck. And uh, it's a great app. And I know that it's going to be very successful in doing everything Brilliant. that it sets out to do. That's very kind. Thank you. Um, okay. And thanks, James. See you, see you on the app. And, and Simon, is this a natural break to move on? Yes, I think this is a natural break. Uh, we're <laughs> just a couple of minutes away. Um, we have Alpesh Patel waiting um, in the wings, so we really should be uh, just wrapping it up there if we can. But in you know, our second, James, and just say thank you. Um, sorry, yourself, say thank you to James. Uh, and thank you to yourself for, for coming along. Um, okay. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Peter. Thank you Thanks. very much indeed. It, it's all it's all good. Just uh, quickly um, before you go, Peter, uh, one or two questions for 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 you before we say goodbye. Um, are the spreads trading via Pelican identical to Intertrader? Yes, absolutely identical. So the car, uh, as I say, uh, um, a fairly uh, a fairly small company still. Um, you know, we're developing very fast. Um, but we're not big enough to be our own broker. So the only way to get into this market, which, as you can imagine, with the regulation and so on, has pretty high barriers to entry, was to uh, team up with, with a broker supplying the feed. Uh, the prices themselves come straight from Intertrader. If if there's an uh, if there's a trading issue, uh, I mean, you can operate completely on the app um, and trade there. But if there is a, a margin into your actual account is within Intertrader, um, and you would you would pay margin there, you would uh, and you would withdraw funds um, when necessary from in, from Intertrader as well. Probably worth mentioning as well, and I believe I'm correct in saying there is no obligation to open up a broking account. Um, you can still just download the app and use the app and join these groups without any. There's no obligation, is there, to? to no, that, that's a very a very valid point, and you're quite right. 
uh, Simon, so we, we encourage people to, to, to operate a free demo account uh, for as long as they want because, uh, of course, demo is not the same as um, operating with real money. And we, you know, if somebody suddenly makes a lot of money on a demo account, we, we wouldn't pretend you're, you're going to um, do that in a live environment straight away. So we, we'd, we'd urge caution. But when you are ready to trade live, of course, we're a broker and, and, and that option is there. Fantastic. Well, Peter Watson, Head of Business Development at Pelican, thank you again for joining us and talking about the app. Uh, good luck with that. I hope to, we hopefully we can uh, bring you more news about the developments as they as they as they happen. But in the meantime, I'll take the uh, presenter role back for me now. So thank you to Peter Watson great. and to James Bathurst uh, for, for for joining us there. Thank you, Simon. Great to be here and uh, uh, enjoy and look forward to the rest of the webinar. Thank you.